whatever she said It's whatever she said It got stuck in my head Welcome back to my channel. I am back today with another video and today y'all I am super super excited because I have a collaboration with one of my favorite wig bays. Her name is Magical Blackness aka Michelle. Y'all she knows how to slay the wigs. I mean, I just love her personality wise. I mean, she is real. She is going to tell you the ins and outs, both good and bad when it comes to wigs. And personally, I just love her personality. Anyway, she's so inspiring to watch. I just love her, period. And of course, a little bit more about her. She is a mom and she is a model takes beautiful pictures. She is just a beautiful person, y'all. But anyway, um, definitely go ahead and check her out, especially if you want to learn more about wigs. And of course, watch before you buy. Definitely check her out because like I said, she's going to give it to you raw. So I will leave the link to her channel and of course the wig that she is going to review. So definitely go ahead and click on it and join her YouTube family. So like I told y'all, we are going to do fall colors reason why I started off with this one this is my little intro wig y'all and of course this is definitely fall so if you're interested in what this little cute unit is about definitely click on that link but so the wig that I'm going to be doing a review on is this one right here y'all so y'all this is going to be an easy wig that's one thing I love about bangs I haven't worn bangs in a while recently I just did a, a video on it but besides that it had been a long time but details about this one this one is from Freetress Equal it has arch bang it's an arch bang series the color that i have is b0 4340 you can high iron this one up to 400 fahrenheit and they have a style number a-001 okay so let me show y'all what color i have okay like i was saying i gotta represent for the fall right so all my pretty color is at the bottom of this wig definitely fall pretty copper color so let's see what the inside looks like no comb in the bag we do have the adjustable draw straps and no combs in the front y'all so um no combs in this wig at all and so let me go ahead and take this one off and i'll be right back with this series number on they could have gave our name but um i'll be right back okay y'all and this is what she is looking like this is definitely going to be a plop and go so yes i'm loving that let me get up close so y'all can see the parting space at the top y'all this is what it's looking like i like when they have these type of parting spaces at the top on these full cap wigs obviously y'all see we don't have anything to cut off no lace or anything so i'm definitely loving that about this wig y'all i mean this is definitely beginner friendly and as soon as I put it on, I can tell that this is going to be big hair friendly. So, y'all, I think any size dome will be able to get in this one, y'all. So, basically, all I want to do is add my little powder at the top. And, of course, I'm going to go ahead and flatten it out, y'all. This is going to be the quickest wig review that I have done in a very long periodically time. And I love it because y'all know how I love my plopping goals and this is definitely it. I used to wear bangs all the time. I probably said this in a couple of my other videos before because I have a big forehead. And of course, when you're in high school, they like to the clown, they tease you. But right now y'all, I don't even care. I do what I want. I wear my forehead out as much as I want to and I don't care what nobody have to say about it. So if you have a big forehead, y'all just embrace it <laughs> embrace it so let me just comb her out just a little bit yeah i have been having this wig in my collection for a minute i just haven't had a chance to pull her out and review her but this is perfect y'all it's perfect for people who are just beginning with wigs this would be a perfect starter wig and of course this is perfect for the fall more so even because not just for the color but because for the warmer seasons a bang on the forehead is not going to be too much it is a little bit long so i don't know some people might want to um cut it but i think it's perfect i like it the way it is so i'm not going to do any cutting and it's thick enough i hate when i get a bang wig that's thin so we even have some layers in it let me give you a, a 360 of what this wig looks like all the way around
Okay, y'all, so let's talk about this unit. I'm just going to be honest straight up and let y'all know that I have no cons with this unit at all. I really don't. I just love everything about it. And you know, that's a rarity when you can get a wig that has no cons. So let me tell you everything I like about the wig. Of course, the color. We are definitely represent representing fall. I'm loving the layers in it. You see, we have layers in the front, y'all, starting really all the way up here. So the bang action starts up here, of course up here, but goes into this right here, which I really do like. And of course we have um, layers coming down here. So this is such a pretty wig. Um, like I told you early, earlier, the um, bangs are nice and thick enough, not too thick, not too thin. And of course we have some of that pretty color in the front too, y'all, I like that. This parting space lays down pretty flat, but of course I'm a little extra. I want to make sure it lays as flat as it can. And of course, I add my powder. The texture on this one, y'all, is a light yakky. I like that. So all my yakky people would love this one because, I mean, we got some yak in here, which means that, in my opinion, y'all, it's not going to tangle as much. And since I've been sitting here running my fingers through this wig, I haven't gotten stuck, y'all, not one time. Not one time. And I haven't gotten any shedding. None. Very surprising because we do have some color in it. Okay, and I almost forgot, y'all, I want to talk about the density. The density is perfect. I think most of my wig babes would agree and love the density on this one. It's definitely not too thin, as y'all can see. We have a good bit of hair on it. It's very nice. It's perfect, in my opinion. Not too thick either, so I am loving the density on this one. But I definitely am a fan of this wig, y'all. I really do like it. And I think y'all should definitely go get it because this one is not expensive at all. The price of this one is $19.95, which I definitely appreciate. But that's just for the neutral colors, the ones, the 1B. One but of course, if you want to get this pretty color, they want $4, y'all. So obviously, I'm not a fan of that. But I mean, sometimes we just got to pay for what we want. So yes. I definitely recommend this, y'all. Definitely go out and get it, even if you got to pay the $4 more because the color is just too pretty. So anyway, y'all, I'm going to go ahead and end this video. Please like, subscribe, and comment. I want to have a discussion, y'all. Uh, y'all know how I like to talk. And of course, do not forget to go and check out my girl, Magical Blackness. That's my boo, y'all. Go and subscribe to her and watch her video and tell her I said hi. So I'm going to go ahead and end this one, and I will see y'all in my next video. Bye-bye.